Robert Mackey was once a linebacker for the Houston Texans. Now he's using his muscle to help those affected by sickle cell anemia. Welcome to Perspective. Well, thank you for having me. Got that Texas uh, accent. No, I'm from South Carolina, though. Oh, okay. so South, I got Carolina South Carolina accent. accent. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Perspective in Chicago. Well, um, how has sickle cell anemia affected your life? Um, my mother has the disease. Mm -hmm. um, she was diagnosed with it 17 years ago. And, um, so kind of late in life. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and actually, um, the doctor gave her seven years to live when he diagnosed her. Wow. And How did the diagnosis come about? She was walking out of a party mm -hmm. and fainted. Like, just coming out of a party, like, one night and just fainted and went to the doctor. And um, they, diagnosed her, they diagnosed her with the, the disease that night. That she was in. Is that unusual for someone to be diagnosed so late in life? No, it's not. Um, it can it can, it can come about as you know, saying, as early as birth and as late as in your thirties and forties. Well, so. she's fortunate because I was reading that women typically only live till about the age of forty-eight when they have sex. Right, and that's what the doctor said. They gave her seven years. She was thirty-five. They gave her seven years, and um, and they told her if she make it past those seven years, mm -hmm. she won't live to see fifty. But what my mom done, she went she went to um, school and got her medical office technician degree. And so she learned about what um, products, what 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 um, medicine to put in her sure. body, and whatnot, mm -hmm. and how to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that education alone extended her life, um, because there's been times to where she went to the hospital, yeah. and they tried to give her like you know you have pain crisis right. when you have six set sure. and so they tried to give her medicine. Um, just, just to, just to take care of the pain, sure. and she'll be like, "Nah, if mm -hmm. I take that medicine, it'll kill me." Sure. And it was like, "No, take it." She was like, "No, this medicine right here, it kill me." Mm -hmm. So it forced the doctors to go back and do more research on like what to, what to give her for. And, for and the good disease. for her for being an educated patient right. to know the impact that those right. medicines could have. Right. So my thinking is like. Everybody don't have the wherewithal to go back to school and, and to right. be more educated yeah. on, you know, saying on that. So if a doctor tell you something, um, like this is this is going to help you, mm -hmm. and you take it, like you're not going. Most most people are not going to question them. And so I just I just think like how many people probably lost their lives wow. to take it, you know, saying being. Sure. Mis um, I had a friend who yeah. died at the age of 36, right. and her brother died as well. So right. it's you you really have to know. Right. Um, and good for your mother for moving into action, but you also moved into action. Now you're right. raising money to help right. people who can't afford the treatment, right. make sure they have enough to pay for it. You're having mm -hmm. a big celebrity weekend. Right. Um, the foundation is called Lydia W. Smith Foundation after my mom. Yes. She's still living. She's yes. 56. Good for her. <laughs> so, Go girl. Miss um, <laughs> Lydia. Right. And so um, so what, what we've done, my foundation partnered with Skadad, the Sickle Cell Disease Association of Illinois, to, um, to provide insurance for patients in need of insurance for, for a 12 month period to give nice. them, to help them get educated and get the, the treatment and, and financial relief because sickle cell disease is not a, a considered a disability. So most people can't work, so you can't work, hmm. you can't, can't afford insurance. We're so. almost out of time, so you, you know. Okay, the weekend. The weekend. <laughs> the weekend is August the 12th, 13th, and 14th hmm. to where um, I'll be raising funds for the, for the, um, for the foundation. Mm -hmm. We have a rooftop party at the Conrad on the 12th. Um, to where we do all of the celebrity welcome party then. We have the celebrity bowling and Lucky Strike on the 13th at 12, from mm -hmm. three, from mm -hmm. 12 to 3. Mm -hmm. Then we have the, 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 the um, VIP reception at Rocket Lounge at from 8 to 11. Then the VIP reception at Horseshoe Casino. Well, you got 14. a lot of stuff going on. So, I'm going to make sure I put this on the website okay. because this is next week. So we want to make sure you get ready, <laughs> get your tickets so you can go because right. it's all about raising money so that we can help people who have sickle cell fight against the disease and pay, of course, for their treatment. So right. give my regards to your mom, okay. please. And what's the name of the foundation again? Oh, Lydia W. Smith Foundation. The Lydia W. Smith Foundation. Thanks for being right. here. It's an honor to meet you. Okay, you too. All right, that's it for Perspective today, everybody. Take care of yourself. Put your health first. I'm Monique Carradine. See you back here next week.